Hi boys and girls, today we're going to gesso your mask. You should be completely finished with the paper mache it needs to be dry. So if you paper mache today, you cannot gesso. The gesso comes in a little cup like this. I will, you can get it from me. Um, it does stain your clothing. It stains it. It's a permanent paint. So if you uh, are using it, you need to have a paint shirt on. You also need a cardboard underneath your work surface or underneath your mask so that your work surface won't get all covered with the white gesso and you'll need a paintbrush. Now in order to get a paintbrush from me you're gonna have to give me your shoe and the reason why is that you will feel that it will feel uncomfortable for you to walk around with one shoe on and one shoe off so that you'll remember to wash your brushes because in order to get your shoe back from me you have to show me a clean paintbrush and I will show you how to clean those thoroughly when I'm done. Now I'm going to do the back first because I can just stick my fingers through the eye openings and yes you do need to do the back. An artist always finishes off the back because that's good craftsmanship. I know that no one will see it but it's a good thing to be complete. Also make sure that you get the edges and you just com continue painting until it's all covered. Now as I'm painting I'm noticing that there's like crinkles in the paper. There's a little space between the newspaper and the plaster and that happens because as the paper mache dries it shrinks a little bit and it pulled away. But what that that layer on the back is doing it's pulling the front really tight. So if that happens and you have and you have a um, you know the space and it's crinkling don't worry about that. In fact we're going to be gluing a lot of the headdress to that and it'll, it'll get covered. These are masks that are meant to be decorative not wearable and I'm just going to go around the edge then really well so that I don't have any newspaper showing. And then just flip it over and continue doing the, the top. When you're finished, you need to wash out your brush. And to do that, go to the sink. Immediately when you're done, I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's just taking up too much time. Make sure that you put your co the cover on. Give this back to me so I can give it to someone else. And wash your brush and then you can get your um, shoe back. And just pick it up. If you get a little on your finger, that's all right. You can wash it. They'll, it'll wash off. And put this in your bucket to dry and put it in the correct cupboard for your, the day that you come to art on. And then you're ready to work on the design or whatever step you need to do next. Have fun. <laughs>